Million Americans need a pacemaker for their heart. Uh, joining us to talk about the important topic uh, for Heart Health Month, Dr. David Hector, cardiologist with ETMC Cardiovascular Institute. Nice to have you here, sir. Welcome. Uh, I understand it's been a while. Nice to have you back. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, it, when I when I was talking about pacemakers, and I, in, when you you think about pacemaker, you think about someone much older. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, you you've had pacemakers in children. They yes. can go in children. Is that right? Oh, definitely. There are children who are born with congenital heart block. Mm -hmm. And these kids have syncope at an early age. And by putting a pacemaker in them, you actually normalize the heart rhythm. Oh my goodness. Well, walk us through the process of, of how easy it is these days to actually put a pacemaker in someone. Yes, in the old days you had to go to the operating room and mm -hmm. it took, took a while to mm -hmm. do and the pacemakers were considerable size. Mm -hmm. Now the pacemaker is down to a very small size, maybe about two inches in diameter and two inches in length and height. Mm -hmm. So it's very small. And the whole idea is finding out who needs a pacemaker. That's the important thing. Mm -hmm. And patients would have either syncope, they would pass out, or they have weakness. And all of these signs and symptoms are very important. That's why it's important for them to follow up and check with their doctor, or if they see these signs and symptoms, to seek medical attention. Briefly, what, what is the mechanic of a pacemaker? What does, it, what does it do, doctor? Why is it in there to begin with? Yes, what it does is, it does two things. First of all, it senses the heart rhythm. Mm -hmm. And if the heart rhythm goes too slow, the whole idea of the pacemaker is to pick up the rhythm and pick up the heart and help it to maintain a certain rhythm. Mm -hmm. If the patient has syncope because the heart rate, let's say, is 30 mm -hmm. or 40 beats per minute, the pacemaker can cure that or avoid that by actually increasing the heart rate to 60 or 70 beats per minute. So the way it works is it senses the heartbeat mm -hmm. and then it compensates as needed for slow rhythm. And if someone is a little bit intimidated by perhaps uh, the pacemaker procedure, what other options are available? Or is the pacemaker the best option? Well, right now, the pacemaker is the best option. Mm -hmm. And to be quite honest, you shouldn't be intimidated by a pacemaker. It mm -hmm. is so small, it is inconspicuous, it mm -hmm. goes under the skin. Most people don't even know they have a pacemaker after a while. Mm -hmm. They know they have to get a checkup on, and you know, every mm -hmm. six months or two months or whoever is you know needed but it's nothing to be afraid of uh, you you've been doing this a while we won't we won't say the number of years <laughs> you've been doing this are, are you amazed as, as a doctor as, as a man of science how far we have progressed in treating people I mean from from just five years ago ten years ago 20 years ago and 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 the the non-invasive procedures and just the, the sheer amount of technology that you guys deal with every day Yes, it is amazing. You know, I remember years ago when a person would have a heart attack mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we just kind of give them a little morphine, give them a little oxygen, and hopefully they Hope make the it best. through it. Yeah. Yeah. Nowadays, we can actually interrupt a heart attack. We can also take a patient who has a massive heart attack mm -hmm. and has heart block mm -hmm. because of the heart attack and put a pacemaker in them. We put a temporary pacemaker until they get over and then put a permanent pacemaker. So yes, uh, medicine has come a long ways. Yeah. And we're not done yet. Who knows what, what, the, what the year holds in the next five years, the next mm -hmm. 10 years. Mm -hmm. Doctor, always nice to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, right. And as part of CVC, Tyler Cardiovascular Consultant, mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Of Thank course. you. Of okay. course. Thank you. Uh, East Texas.